Bucks County Food Shed Alliance supports local farms that utilize regenerative farming practices. Regenerative agriculture is a way of farming that focuses on restoring soil biology, which naturally pulls tons of carbon out of the atmosphere, replenishes nutrients, and cleans and recharges water supplies. Let's check out Tussock Sedge Farm, located in Perkesy. This farm was purchased um, when I was 11 by my parents. Uh, when we purchased it, it, it was all commodity crops, uh, corn and soybeans. A severe problem with erosion, most of the topsoil was laying in a layer down by the driveway. Put in grass swales to kind of stop the erosion and then in about 2000, my parents transitioned from conventional farming to grass-fed beef only. Most of the grass fields you see around here have been in grass now for almost 20 years. And the soil tests are improving every year. So I think we're on the right track. These are red Angus that we raise. Uh, for us, the, the red color does better out in a, a pasture-based setting. Uh, they're more heat tolerant. Often what you'll see in the summer is that they kind of hang out under the trees in the shade during the heat of the day and then at night when we're sleeping they're, they're very eating. actively grazing. So we use a, a method of rotational grazing which simply involves uh, having animals out on pasture and moving them every single day to fresh ground. It mimics you know, nature, you know, especially if you look out west, you know, especially when the bison used to, to run, um, you know, that's exactly what they did. You know, they would come into an area, they would, you know, mob graze it, I mean, they just, you know, eat it down, and then they move on. And then that land just sits behind them and, and regrows and, and comes back even better than when they had first come through. The cattle especially will instinctively consume the, the most nutritious plants. If they go out into a pasture and, and the grass is 12 inches tall, they're going to eat that, that top six inches uh, where really most of the nutrition is found. At the heart of what we do with rotational grazing involves breaking larger paddocks down into smaller segments for the animals. Uh, so we use temporary electric lines here that we, we run across and Depending on time of year, the, the segments for the cows will be smaller or larger, depending on how much feed is here. Uh, but you can see the, the herd was in here yesterday. A lot of the grass was uh, eaten down. The original plant was probably about uh, two feet tall, and they ate that top half. Uh, there's a lot of disturbance in the soil here, but that's actually a really important part of animals on pasture. And it will be at least 30 days until they come back to this particular spot again. So it'll have plenty of time to regrow before then. When you look at soil tests, the pH is important. Um, we don't have to put lime on fields nearly as often now. And um, organic matter is through the roof, whereas when things were being tilled and unconventional, it was almost nothing. For additional seeding in our fields, uh, more often than not, what we'll do is winter frost seeding. You know, so somewhere around February, depending on weather. Uh, we we'll get our little broadcast seeder out and strap it to the back of an ATV and go out seeding. It works really well with, with small seed. You'll often have some snow cover or at least plenty of moisture there that you know, then kind of gets the, the germination process started. And it's a really effective way yeah. of improving pastures you know, without having to go the chemical route of, you know, applying fertilizer and or, nitrogen. Or having to till or even, even drill in. Farming in this manner is incredibly sustainable. Rather than growing fields of corn and soy and then harvesting that and transporting that to animals that are stuck inside buildings, well, why not just put the animals out in the field? Let them harvest the feed mm -hmm. uh, you know, let them do the work for you and it creates you know, and healthier life. animals and healthier mm -hmm. land. In the winter, we try to have them out as much as we can. Uh, when if, things are frozen, we let them out. Yeah. Um, and we, we do feed hay in our barnyard so they can kind of come in and out. 
all summer long, we, we make a lot of hay. With the size of our herd, we, we try to produce somewhere between a million and a half and two million pounds of hay uh, to get us through the, the winters. What you um, might have seen back behind the cows are some of our wetland areas, and there's some jack dams there that help hold the water when we have big storms. Um, a lot of the times they don't have any water or very little water, but during those periods of time, it collects the extra water and helps slow the stream down so that it doesn't wash anything out. And we've seen a lot of improvement in our stream um, since um, building these.